the word of God in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 36, it says, Then the Eden that are left round about you shall know that I, the Lord, build the ruined places. It says, And plant that that was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. It says, I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. Dear child of God, he said, He will build your ruined places. Dear child of God, he said, He will build you up again. The things that have become desolate around your life, God is saying He will build again. God is simply saying He will raise you up again. Dear child of God, nothing may be flourishing around you, but today it will come to an end. For God will raise you up again in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, It will cost you to experience a restoration, a quick and massive restoration. God will do it. Dear child of God, he said everyone will see it. They will know that the miraculous wonders of God are happening within your space, are happening within your vicinity, are happening within your life. He says, I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. Dear child of God, the words of God shall come into fusion. It shall come into manifestation, and everyone shall see it. In the mighty name of Jesus, they would behold the glory of the Lord God visible in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, all of them round about shall know that the Lord build the ruined places. Dear child of God, God will build you up again. You shall rise again. I don't know where you may have fallen from, but you shall rise again because God will build you up again. I do not know what may have brought you down. But dear child of God, you are coming up again. You shall be uplifted, dear child of God. You shall take your place again. You shall take, you shall take your stand in glory again in the mighty name of Jesus. I do not know what have not been working in your life. Those things that have not been working, they will begin to work. Because the Lord God have sent his word. He says, I, the Lord, have spoken it. And I will do it. God will perform it. You see, when God says, I have spoken it. And I would do it. It means the words of prophecy. It means the words of good will that he has sent forth. It would make sure he makes it happen. It means the promises. The covenant he had made with you. It means he would make it happen. And I want you to know today. God will bring this word of prophecy to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you would be able to say. God has built me up again. You would be able to say. God have lifted up my arms. God have lifted me up again. Dear child of God, He will raise you up. He is the lifter of our head and He will lift you up again. Whatever it is the enemies have done that may have caused you to be buried, today there shall be a transformation. There shall be a change in the mighty name of Jesus. He has said that He would open your graves. He has said He will build you up again. He has said he will raise you up again. He has said he will quicken you, dear child of God. He has said he will cause you to flourish. Nothing will stop this from happening. For you shall flourish. Everything, everything that you want to see change in your life, there shall be a change. He said he has sent forth his word and nothing will stop it from accomplishing the purpose at which they were sent. The word of God in Ezekiel 37 verse 14 says, then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, said the Lord. He says, Then shall you know that I have spoken it and I have performed it. Dear child of God, the things that God has told you, hold on to them, hold on to them, hold on to them so dearly. For the Lord God of heaven would perform them in the mighty name of Jesus. It will cause you to rejoice. It will cause you to be excited. It will cause you to be greatly blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, that promise that you will dwell in safety, and so shall it be. You will dwell in safety, and it would make sure it would raise you up again, and you will be renowned, dear child of God. You may have been hidden, dear child of God. You may have been pushed to the side, dear child of God. Everything around you may have become desolate, dear child of God. The things around you may not be functioning the way you wanted them to function but today god will transform your life 
God will transform everything and cause them to begin to walk again. Is the restorer of life. Dear child of God, the restorer of life is visiting you. The one who knows everything you are supposed to become is going to cause it to happen. Yes, dear child of God, he said he will make your feet as iron's feet. He will raise you up. You would walk tall again in the mighty name of Jesus. Your shoulders may have been down. You may be burying your head every day because of the situations that are tearing you apart. Today, I decree and declare that God will show up and change everything in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, how long would you take to take your place over the situation and be a judge? Dear child of God, that time has come for God to bring judgment. That time has come for God to judge between you and your tormentors. That time has come for God to bring judgment. That time has come for you to get the verdict. Dear child of God, God will judge them. God will judge them for their wickedness. They have been entreating you night and day. They have been malicious against you. Dear child of God, they have done everything to make you suffer and sorrow. God is going to judge each and every one of them. Yes, you may not see anything happening for a while and then you think God has forsaken you. No, dear child of God, that time has come for God to judge them and everyone that were behind the things that you suffered, everyone that were behind your pains, everyone that were behind your afflictions, dear child of God, they shall be judged. They shall be greatly judged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, I will be that judge. I will stand and I will fight for you. And I will make sure I would exact everything upon them that they deserve. He said, for all of their violent dealings, for all of their wickedness and afflictions, those who have been incensed against you, he said they will be confounded. He said they will strive against you no more. Dear child of God, believe the word of God, for that time has come for them to be judged and they will be greatly judged in the mighty name of Jesus. He would make sure that they will be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says, look, all those who are incensed against you, he says, will be disappointed and confounded. Those who strive with you will be like nothing. He says they shall all perish. He was saying they shall all perish. They shall receive the full wrath and punishment of God. Dear child of God, that time has come for God to fight your battles. That time has come for God to bring to an end everything that they did against you. Yes, they have mistreated you. And he's saying today, everything will come to an end. The word of God in Isaiah 49 verse 26 says, I will make those who mistreat you eat their own flesh. He says, and they would get drunk on their own blood as with new wine. He says, then all mankind will know that I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your Savior. I am the Lord your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Dear child of God, those who have raged against you, those who have made you to sorrow, those who have made you to lament night and day, those who have made you to even doubt the existence of God and the help of God, at some point in time, you thought God was never going to rescue you. You thought God was never going to help you. Today, God is saying, I'll be a judge between you and them. And for all that they have done, for their raging, their child of God is saying, for all the evil intentions that they had against you, today, everything would cease. Everything will stop and they will get the wrath in full. He said, give place for wrath. It says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And that time has come for the Lord to avenge for you. That time has come for the Lord to fight for you. That time has come for the Lord to bring to an end every of the thing that they did against you. You see, all those who were looking for you to destroy you, all those who have been fighting against you, all those finding ways to bring you down, he's saying to you today, you will seek for them and you won't find them. He says, you won't find them anymore. All those who are contending against you, you said you will look for them, you won't find them. Because I'm making war, I'm making war against them. And they will be as nothing. He was saying, they will be as a non-existent thing, dear child of God. Today, the Lord wants you to know that it will satisfy you. The Lord wants you to know that it will strengthen you. The Lord wants you to know that it will bring you out of the place of misery, out of the place of oppression, 
out of the place of ill treatment, the Lord wants you to know that for those shame, for those reproach, for those things that you had gone through, for the afflictions you suffered, double blessings is coming your way. Yes, wonderful things are coming your way that will cause your mouth to be filled with praises. And all those who had been incensed against you, all those fighting you, all those working against your progress, all those behind the attacks that you had experienced, all those that brought the heaviness of heart, those that made you to cry and sorrow, it's in that time has come that he will pour out his wrath, my God. He said he will pour out his wrath upon each and every one of them, and you will find them no more. He said that time has come that he would execute his punishment, dear child of God. And he's saying they would all be discomfited. They would all be dealt with. He's saying today that time has come for him to show that he is your God. He said in Judges 6 verse 10, And I said unto you, I am the Lord your God. He says, Fear not. Fear not the God of the Amorite. He said, I am the Lord your God. Fear not. For I'm bringing judgment. I'm bringing judgment upon them. He says, Fear them not. For he has stripped them of their strength. Dear child of God, he's saying, Fear them not. For he has taken their powers away from them. He's saying, Fear them not. Do not be afraid of their threat. They have been threatening you, dear child of God. But that time has come that they will not be able to threaten you anymore because he will strip them of their strength. He will strip them of their might and abilities. Yes, it seems like they were succeeding before. They were succeeding to bring you down. But he said, now that time has come that he will make sure they will lose their strength, they will lose their might, and they will lose the abilities that they had in the past to be able to afflict you and to cause you to be pained and sorrow. You see, what God did against the people who were fighting the people of God was to make sure he brought some heaviness, some grief around them that they could not recover from. Dear child of God, and that discomfited them, that reduced their strength, that made them not to be able to pursue God's people because they refused to stop, because they wouldn't let you be. Yes, dear child of God, that time has come for God to avenge for you and cause them to have the heaviness of heart it will cause them to have the pains that will be too much for them to handle such that they will forget about you yes you had always been in their mind because it seems like they had nothing bothering them from today god will bring a distraction to them it will cause them to have something they would deal with that will cause them not to be able to remember you anymore dear child of god do you understand that God will make them have a distraction. He will bring something their way. He will bring something their way that will cause them not to be able to pursue you anymore. You'll be there and you'll be enjoying a few day because God had brought a distraction and that is the way he will bring judgment upon them. They thought they had all the monies, yes, to fight you. They thought they had all the people behind them to bring pains to you and to afflict you. Today, those people will be against them and will begin to contend against themselves. They will begin to fight within themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. And all that they thought they had, yes, to cause you to suffer, to bring sorrow and pains to you, dear child of God, they would have greater troubles. They would have greater situations face them that what they have will not be enough to even solve it. And this is how God will bring you to your place of rest. This is how you will know that God had judged them. This is how you know that God had fought your battles. This is how you know that God had risen up for you, dear child of God. You see, Jehovah knows about all of the situations that you have had to deal with. Jehovah knows about all of the pains. He knows about all of the sorrows. And he's saying today, don't worry. That time has come for me to fulfill the promises I have made unto you. For me to bring you to the place of rest. He's saying that time has come for me to decide your peace. You see the word of God in Isaiah 26 verse 12 says, Lord, you will decide peace for us. For you have indeed accomplished all our achievements for us. He said, you will decide our peace. You will decide peace for us. And that time has come that peace will be restored back unto you and to your family. And those enemies 
those people fighting against you, the judgment that God will bring upon them would be that they will lose their peace because the troubles that will come upon them will be too heavy for them to deal with. The situations they'll be faced with will be too heavy for them to handle. And this is how you would have your peace of mind. This is how you would have your rest because the distraction that has come upon them have been a judgment that God have used to bring you to the place of rest. He said it will decide your peace. It will decide your rest. It will cause you to enjoy comfort. It will cause you to enjoy peace of mind. It will cause you to enjoy his blessings in full. Trust him if he said he would do it. He would most definitely do it. Yes, sometimes because of the situations, you have not been proud of yourself. You have been crying night and day. You have been down because of the things that the people are saying around you because they are mocking you, dear child of God. Because of your sufferings, they are making jest of you. They are mocking you night and day. But God is saying, I will build you up again. You see, they mocked Job. By the time it seems like his life was ruined, dear child of God, those that were not close to his sheep dogs were mocking him. They sat by the city gate. They were making jest of him. They were making mockery of him, dear child of God. They were making fun of him because nothing was working around his life. Because it seems like he was going through some difficulties. Because the challenges were there too much and was visible to all. Then God showed up. God showed up and made sure there was a restoration. God showed up and built him up again. And everything was transformed. Those that mocked him, dear child of God. Those that made jest of him. Those that ridiculed him. They saw it. How the Lord transformed his life. And not just transformed his life. God made it better. It made it better than it was before. God made it better. Dear child of God, the life that God will make happen for you. It will be better than you have ever experienced in the past. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will see everything working for your good. And you will say indeed, God had raised me up. You will see everything working for your good. And you will say you are no more a prey. Dear child of God, you will see everything working for your good. And then you will be able to say you are no more an object of ridicule. You will see everything working for your good. And you will say indeed no one will shake their head anymore in pity over your life. Because God is raising you up. God is causing everything to work for your good. The word of God in Ezekiel 34 verse 30 it says, So shall they know that I the Lord their God, I am with them. And that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, said the Lord God. He says they would know that I am with them. He says they will know that I am with them. Dear child of God, God is with you. And he will transform everything around your life. He had said in Matthew 28, he says he will be with you. He says he will be with you. He says, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Dear child of God, you will see God visible around your life. And what you will see him do is that he is building you up again is that he is restoring your name, is that he is restoring your heritage. Dear child of God, you see God build you up again and then he will restore your honor. He would restore you to your glorious place. Dear child of God, you will see God build you up again and the people that may have talked you down, they will come to ask you, how did you make it? The people that mocked you, dear child of God, they would ask you, how did you do it to experience this transformation? And you tell them, God had been with me and God built me up again. Dear child of God, God will build you up. And you will discover the ruined places around your life would have been transformed and changed. Dear child of God, you will discover that the glory of the Lord shall be risen all over you. I decree and I declare, dear child of God, that the glory of the Lord shall be risen all over you. It shall be visible. It shall be visible to all to see, to the mockers, to the haters, to those that said you will fail, to those that said you will not amount to much, to those that rejected you, dear child of God, to those that did not give you the chance, to those that said you will not happen in life, to those that said nothing great would ever come forth around you, to those that told you 
you will never be significant. To those that told you your name shall be blotted out. To those that told you you would end in regret and shame, they will see you manifest. They will see you show forth. They will see you emerge. They will see you break forth. And dear child of God, they will bury their head in shame. And all you will say is, God built me up. My ruined life, God built it up and made sure I was not desolate. That will be your testimony. And you would have reasons to rejoice all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe God will do this and he will do this quickly in Jesus' name and it will cause your joy to be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call it done because it is settled and Jehovah, who you serve with all of your heart, he will do you well in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.